Defined eye, 20 miles across right now. It's just slowly moving into the Bahamas. Here's Amber, you can see the Bahamas, poor folks there, uh, just mercilessly pounded for uh, about 36 hours now in the Northwest Bahamas. Bonanza, Joe. Welcome to Antiquers. Perfection. Welcome to Antiquers. So today we're going to the Bahamas. We just filed our DVFR. We have Joe here and Eric. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. A multi-plane uh, uh, departure. International well, formation flight. Yeah, we're gonna do a international formation flight uh, to uh, the, the infamous IFS. To, to Freeport. Uh, you ready to go? You ready to go? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Ready to go. Let's go. Dodging the weather today for sure. Yeah. I'm going to text my mom before we leave. Get a checklist on.
Hello, hello. Bonjour à tous. Today we're going to Freeport. So we haven't been to uh, the island since 2019 after the hurricane. I'm going to wait for Eric to uh, get back with us so he can talk a little bit. All right, I'm back. Hello. Yeah, so our first trip uh, post-pandemic and sad that we haven't been able to do our normal uh, every month trip or so over there via boat or airplane. Yeah. Well, we did uh, everything we needed to do. It's pretty simple. We'll go over uh, everything. Let me text uh, our other airplane that's going with us. Yeah. Joe is coming with us. We're going to set this as the field elevation, uh, which is 23, right, 1500 RPM. We're going to taxi and take off online. And to go traffic, Baron, uh, back taxi runway, not a right, uh, south runway tickers. Joe, you up? Joe is online. Pulling out now. And we're going to let Joe um, and taxi all the way to the end and make a U turn, and then I'll do the same. Happy? Wow, it's, it is much smoother since rolling. Oh, yeah. yeah wow. You did really great job. Thank you. All right, be turning around right here. And we got Luis there. Switching back to uh, approach. Uh, 10 for you, uh, about, I'd say, Copy, I'll check it 7 out. miles at 2,500. Going to your right, I got you, thank you. AC going back on? Yep. Be back on. Beach approach, bear 1879 Lima. 1879 Lima, good. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Palm Beach. Uh, Baron 1879 Lima just departed and T carries were at 900 climbing. Like to pick up our IFR, actually a VFR um, flight plan to Freeport. Baron 79 Lima, Squawk 0051, maintain VFR. 0051 will maintain VFR and uh, we'll climb at 5,500. Palm Beach Approach, good afternoon, Bonanza 761, Lima Tango, looking to go um, VFR to Freeport, I'm with the Baron. That's him. Yep. 79 Lima, radar contact, 8 northeast of Boca, altimeter 3008, say altitude. 3008, and we're at uh, 1700, climbing 1879. 
Bonanza, the other aircraft with the Baron. Say again, just the uh, call sign and type to Freeport. Bonanza 761 Lima Tango, and I'm opening the flight plan to Freeport. I'm with the Baron. On Lima Tango, Squawk 4747, maintain VFR. 4747, maintaining VFR. Bonanza 761 Lima Tango, Roger. 790 Lima radar contact, 8 northeast of Boca Raton, altimeter 3008. 3008, Probably turn strobes off at this point. How am I looking, Eric? Perfect. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is our first uh, flight to Freeport in a long time, and on top of it all, we're doing a formation flight. I mean... International formation <laughs> flight. It cannot get better than that. Across the ocean. That's just so cool. Very, very good job. Amazing. Amazing. On time. Traffic White Star, 3,400 over the I-75 Bumpwick Station, doing steep fire on fighting traffic. R6 Triumph Lima, fly heading uh, zero 09 or zero. That synthetic vision uh, is so open. cool. Yeah. Wind it up. We've got traffic a little ahead of us, uh, about 2 o'clock. And we've got a little bit. 1,100 feet, 1,000 feet higher. Looks like he's coming down. Our aid is, is ahead. The international border. So if you leave in the power that you have now when you level off, I should be able to keep up no problem. Awesome, just keep me posted. Oh, we'll have traffic at our same altitude. Altitude. Not every day I'm flying with a 58 TC. Charlie. Pretty badass. That's so cool looking at you. Number 1879er oh. Lima, contact Miami Center 133.4. 33.4, 187 Lima, good day. Let's pull the power back just a hair. Copy. Missed the last. Stand by. Miami Center, bearing 1879 or Lima, 5,500. November 1879 or Lima, you checked in? Checked in with you, uh, 187 Lima, 5,500. Roger, and you have uh, someone with you there, the 761 Lima Tango? Correct, affirmative, behind me. Roger, number 1879 or Lima, maintain VFR at all times, free portal altimeter 3009er. 09er, 187 Lima, thanks. In Miami, Bonanza 761 Lima Tango, checking in 5,500, right next to the Baird, VFR. Roger, maintain VFR at all times, three portal altimeter 3009er. 3009er, maintaining VFR at all times, Bonanza 761 Lima Tango. Those seas are unbelievable. Well, right? I'll go with the thing, bumping station at 1,000 feet, doing a little cruise checklist. Very rough down there. Really nice, Joe. Really nice. And there's the islands. So the runway's what again? Uh, 0624. Runway 0624, and it's 11,000, so we got a long, long runway. I think we can work with that. <laughs> there you go. I mean, over six, sorry, two, three, six, Charlie Pop is video to nine thousand one hundred one. Two, three, six, Charlie Pop, I'm Anderson Rudd. We're one eight seven nine or Lima, and November seven six one Lima Tango. Radar services are terminated. Walk via far. Frequency change approved. Suggest Freeport approach on one two six point five. Good day. Two six point five and frequency change approved and we're squawking very far. Thank you very much for your help. Good day. Miami, this is Bonanza seven six one Lima Tango. I copy squawking VFR. Thank you. Squawking VFR now. Frequency change occurring. Report approach. Report approach. Uh, Baron one eight seven nine Lima five thousand. 1879 Lima. Are you going to contact Freeport Approach? I don't think we necessarily need to. Aircraft type on point of departure. Uh, we just departed Boca and we're arriving to uh, Freeport uh, in a little bit. Then we have uh, another plane behind us, November 791 Lima Tango. 179 Lima, say aircraft type on your distance. 
Uh, aircraft type is a bearing 58 turbocharge, and we are at a bearing of 070, and distance is uh, 20.5 nautical miles. Okay, I stepped on you. Say again the aircraft type. Bearing 58 turbocharge, BE58TC. Okay, and what is the aircraft type for a Lima Tango? Lima Tango is a Bonanza. All right, runway six is deactive. The winds are zero nine and zero degrees at one tree. Altimeter three zero zero six. Contact the tower one one eight decimal five for landing instructions one one eight point five. If you talking to anyone like Freeport? One one eight point five and uh, three zero zero six, and we'll let uh, seven nine one Lima Tango uh, know and uh, runway six one eight seven one. Freeport Tower, Baron one eight seven nine Lima. 12, uh, 17 miles uh, northwest of the field bound runway 06. Number 1879er Lima, Freeport Tower, good afternoon. Join left base for runway 06 and report 3 miles. We'll report 3 miles for left base uh, 06, 1879 Lima. So how much longer do you want to stay on this track or do you want to go right just to spec? I'm going to start descending. And we're going to start descending. So Joe is going to do a uh, crossover. All right, on the other side. Wow, that's so beautiful. Oh my God, it's so nice. Right, I'm going to go back to the other side. Okay. How'd that look, Eric? Amazing. Really nice. We'll probably uh, go right like five degrees uh, to hit the uh, three-mile base. So if you want to break right right now, uh, that'd be cool. How far do we have? We're just going to make a left base, so, so we're going to hit the right a little bit. For 13 Understand, miles. Understand, I'm ready for you turning right. It's fine. Okay, doing that now. And we're 13 miles from the field. Copy. And we'll put all our lights on to yep. look pretty. Put all your lights on, Joe, to look real pretty. Strobes, everything, abs. Got it all on for you. Looking good, looking good. Wow. It's just amazing. I'm all turned on. <laughs> we are too. Wait a second. That didn't sound right. <laughs> Number 1879 in Lima, report crossing the shoreline final. Report crossing shoreline final, 1879. Been a while. Yeah. One set of flat. All right, Bonanza gear down, lights on. Gear down, lights on. Caution runway wet, wind 0, 06, zero degrees at one to North Square Line runway 0, 06. Uh, Freeport Tower, Baron 187 and New Lima is over the shoreline and Lima Tango is going to land right behind us. 187 and New Lima, roger. Caution runway wet. Well, be careful. Thank you very much. 187 and Red, blue, green. Big greens. Wow, such a perfect. The perfect. long final, but it's good, right? Oh, it's a hell of a final, I tell Joe. <laughs> hey Joe, that's a hell of a final. Got a long final. This is a pretty long final. Uh, keep <laughs> in mind, we have a 35 knot headwind. I see that. It's yeah, it's, that's a good point. Looked at your ground speed on the ADSB, and you were doing like <laughs> 70 something knots. I was like, what? <laughs> 78. Wow. Very well.
windy. The land long. All right, put her down. Gonna land a little bit on the left for two. Nice. Hello, Freeport. It's been a while. One eight seven nine Lima. Take eight next right. Hold short and contact ground. One two one decimal seven. Two one decimal seven. One eight seven. Crossing over. Got all of our buzzers and lights on. Yep. Strobes. Yep, yeah. When you touch, I. I... One nine Lima Tango, vacate right hole, shot, and oh. contact ground 21 7. Ground, uh, Baron 187 Lima, uh, going to the FBO, and we have uh, Lima Tango behind us. November 1879, Lima Free Park Ground. Good afternoon. You're cleared to parking. Player 2 parking, 187 Lima. Confirm you're familiar? Yes, yes, we're familiar. It's good to be here. Thank you. Let's make sure we get the water salute. Joe doesn't know yet. I think we told him. It's right here. Yeah. I would let him know, say, Joe, we're going to have water cannons. Uh... Joe, we're going to have water cannons uh, spritzing. There's doors That's pretty cool. Do you want to stay uh, left to center line? I was going to both center, yeah. I'm going to stay center because of the cannons. Stand, okay. I'll, I'll, when, as soon as we get up there, I'll go over directly behind you. Okay. Wow. I hope I hope we catch her. And I get the royal uh, treatment when I'm flying with Skyline Baron pilots. It's pretty fantastic. This is a special event. We're going to taxi a little bit slower. Abby. All right, let's get it all. I'll make sure my door and window are closed for this. <laughs> Very important. We're very, very proud to become ambassadors of the Bahamas. Flying absolute ambassadors. Honor. This is just absolutely wonderful. Are you kidding me? Like, not a lot of people get that.
load up, we'll go through customs, and uh, we'll continue this uh, this day. So you get a complete two. Um, you get a complete two C7A when you arrive. Two of those. I'll put a link in the description. Bahamas Ministry of Tourism inducting the newest fly-in ambassadors for the country. The program aims to induct private pilots who will help to promote the islands of the Bahamas as a place to visit and explore. They go out there and they convince other private pilots how to fly the aircraft to the islands of the Bahamas. She team up with steve -O and they put together a, a flying video and that video netted some close to 3 million views on YouTube. General Manager for the Grand Bahama Ministry of Tourism Office, Stephen Johnson, officially inducting Captain Valerie Talbot and Captain Eric Larson as flying ambassadors. 